Hi friends, uh, I am Professor Vagmadi Biyar, uh, working as a system professor in the agronomy department. So today we can see the topic on plant ideotypes, its definition and types of uh, ideotypes. First of all, you can see the uh, definition of ideotypes. That the term uh, uh, before that the term ideotype was introduced uh, first introduced by Donald 1968. Uh, it literally mean a form of denoting an idea. Uh, then uh, he has uh, de defined the term or uh, give the term of ideotype as biological model, which is expect, uh, expected to perform or behave uh, in a predictable manner uh, within a definite environment. That is, ideotype is a concept uh, is to develop the new plant architecture with respect to their height, uh, rooting pattern, or the orientation of the leaf uh, as a model, which will be expected to perform well or behave well in a, uh, uh, especially in a uh, uh, pre present environment or the definite environmental conditions. Uh, then also according to him, uh, crop ideotype or the plant ideotype is the plant model which could be expected to yield in a greater quantity or the quality of grain or oil or the other useful products when uh, developed as a cultivar. As the crop ideotype, uh, the is the more plant model where the de uh, develop with respect to, to increase the quality as well as the quality of the uh, grain or the seed or the oil and other products uh, especially cultivated in the different environment uh, this is called as crop and uh, ideotype the term ideotype was the following synonymous that is model plant type or ideal model plant type or ideal plant type these are the synonymous uh, especially in the that is term of uh, uh, ideotype Next one, the types of ideotype. Uh, there is first one uh, isolation ideotype, then second competition ideotype, then crop ideotype, then market ideotype, then climatic ideotype, then edific uh, ideotype, then stress uh, ideotype, and uh, last one that is eight number. It is your uh, pest ideotype. These are the types of ideotype. You can see here uh, detail uh, one by one. That is first one isolation ideotype. This is the plant uh, mo type model that performs best when the plants are space planted. Means according to uh, spacing uh, uh, planting of the crops will be done and to evaluate the performance uh, in case of the especially cereals the isolation ideotype is a la uh, lack pre tillering spreading plant that is able to explore the environment as fully as possible that is especially in the cereal crops we have the uh, having the uh, for example wheat and rice they have the pre tillering then spreading type of plants uh, we have present in the special impulses uh, that will be explored the environment as fully as possible then it is unlikely to perform well as the crop densities there is a spacing is very important as to perform is a specific uh, uh, performance or to evaluate the performance of the specific uh, model uh, plant type uh, this is a uh, isolation that is accordingly spacing or the densities uh, have to plant the uh, crop and then to evaluate the per its performance the second one, the competition ideotype, that is, uh, in, in this ideotype performs well in uh, especially in the genetically heterogeneous populations, such as the uh, segregating generations from the crosses. Uh, here you can see the competition has to be evaluated as uh, genetically uh, heterogeneous populations or the mixed populations as the segregating generations from the crosses. Uh, in case of the cereal, the competition ideotype is tall, leafy, pre tillering plant which will be able to shed its less agri. Uh, aggressive neighbors and the, thereby the grain uh, gain, gain a larger share of radiation, nutrient and water than the other crops. And in case of the annual uh, seed crops such as the uh, ideotype uh, will include the following features that the annual habit, then tallness, leafy canopy, tillering or the branching, then seed size, then the uh, germination of the seed and the root characters. Uh, in case of the competition uh, ideotype, especially have to evaluate the crops when grown uh, in a mixed population or genetically heterogeneous population uh, uh, or the segregating generations of different crosses especially in the cereals uh, have the competition ideotype traits like tall uh, leafy or the free tillering plants where there will be uh, more shading effect to the less aggressive plants uh, that will be uh, uh, also, the cereal crops have the gain more larger share of uh, especially the radiations and nutrients and water uh, over the pulses. And in case of the annual seed crops, such as ideotype, uh, such uh, ideotype that is competition ideotype, 
will include the following features that is the annual habit that is life cycle tallness leafy canopy tillering or branching the size of seed then uh, germination of seed and the root characters this is the second type that is competition idotype and third one that is crop idotype the indicates uh, performs best at the commercial crop densities uh, because it is a poor competitor uh, then uh, it performs well when it is surrounded by plants at the same farm that is for, for example the sorghum, uh, in the case of the sorghum planted uh, around the same family that is permeate or the maize it will be indicates a competitive in nature or performance is uh, uh, less over the uh, wide densities uh, but the performance less when it is surrounded by plants of the other farms uh, also in the isolation and in case of the cereals the crop uh, idotype or the commercial uh, idotype is erect sparsely uh, sparsely tiller tiller plants then with small erect leaves and it able to survive with highly competitive situation of the being uh, surrounded by the plant of the same farm that is crop idotype then fourth one that is market idotype it includes traits like seed color seed size cooking and the baking qualities that is especially the marketing point of view uh, we have to you can see here the color of seed size of seed and cooking and baking qualities will be uh, good then we will get the good market price and this test determines the market uh, uh, acceptability of the produce then for fifth one climatic idotype that is it includes the traits that is important traits in uh, especially in climatic adaptation such as heat and cold resistance and then uh, maturity duration then the drought resistance and then uh, sixth one adaptive uh, idotype the traits the important traits uh, that is uh, adaptation of the uh, particular uh, cultivar in uh, soil or uh, different soils it includes salinity tolerance mineral toxicity or acid tolerance then uh, seventh one that is trace idotype uh, the trace re uh, trait resistance to both that is biotic or biotic traces uh, that is uh, cultivars will be suitable or should be suitable especially biotic or biotic trace then uh, disease and uh, or the pest idotype it includes the trace resistance to the concerned diseases or the pest these are the different types of uh, uh, idotypes next one you can see the features of crop idotype that is crop idotype consists of the several uh, morphological and physiological traits which can contribute for enhanced yield and uh, or the higher yield than the currently prevalent crop cultivars or the local or traditional cultivar in mor morphological and physiological features of the crop idotype is required for irrigated irrigated uh, cultivation or rainfed cultivation then ideal plant weather uh, the idotype is required for irrigated cultivation or rainfed cultivation in ideal plant types or the model plant have the been discussed in several crops like wheat maize cotton or pulses an important feature of the idotype for some of the crops are described below it is first one wheat idotype uh, uh, in case of the, the low uh, the, uh, wheat there are different uh, cultivar that is ideal uh, uh, traditional or local one then improved cultivar then ideal idotype uh, as we uh, know the in, during green revolution period that is especially in wheat and rice the tall dwarf uh, combination uh, or the uh, conversion of the tall varieties to dwarf one because to avoid the or it will be resistant against lodging uh, especially uh, in the cereal crops like wheat and rice and also build up the uh, yield level uh, that is especially for development of wheat idotype uh, the important traits are the short strong stem erect leaves then few small leaves then large ear then ear uh, erect ear then presence of avens and the single kernel Uh, this is a you can see the photographs that is a traditional cultivar then improved cultivar and this is the ideal idotype of wheat next one the design of wheat and rice idotype for uh, lodging resistant especially during revolution uh, uh, 1965 uh, you can see here in case of wheat uh, there will be the root plat uh, spread that is up to 56.5 mm the stem uh, strength then stem wall width then uh, stem material strength then the stem diameter internal these are the important traits which will be improved while designing the uh, wheat idotype for preventing the or resisting the uh, resistance against the lodging and then in case of rice also the height uh, of the crop will be reduced or uh, in case of wheat also uh, especially during the revolution period or to prepare the or the uh, during the designing of this ideal idotype of wheat and rice uh, 
Uh, here also the in case of rice stem wall width is also uh, wider and then also stem diameter and internal diameter and the root plate spread is also be uh, up to 60 mm. Uh, these are the uh, uh, detailed information about how to design wheat and rice hydrotype for uh, against uh, lodging resistance. Next one, the uh, design of maize hydrotype, especially in case of maize, the different threads like especially shoot threads, that is leaf angle to maximize the light capture, that is A, then B, that is uh, uh, B section of leaf, then C section. These are three important sections of the leaf. Uh, angle uh, which will be erect or uh, it should be erect or parallel to solar radiations to enhance the photosynthesis. Then also second trait that uniform and moderate plant and ear height uh, or the uh, tassel height uh, or the cob is to be enabled to mechanize harvest and lodging resistance. And the root hairs that is TP. Then there are different types of roots are developed uh, in a major hydrotype that is brace root, crown roots, then seminal roots, then primary roots which are to be improved water and nutrient uptake. This is the shoot traits and the root traits uh, developed during the design, is, uh, design of maize hydrotype. Uh, this is uh, today's topic about the hydrotype, its definition or meaning in types of hydrotype and especially design of wheat, rice and maize hydrotype. Thank you.